Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be doing a line of sight with this little guy. This is the iFlight Turbo B. Now this is a little 2.5 inch craft, completely bind and fly from iFlight. You can see this one actually has a Crossfire Mortal T in here. They do offer a Crossfire version. Probably a little bit heavy, a little bit overkill for a micro, but you know, you can have great signal quality. So pretty much for the build, they just have their little Turbo B 1103 uh, 10,000 kV motors, Gem Fan 2540 props. We have the tiny, tiny iFlight 16 by 16 Sussex stack in there. We have a Cadex, I think it's the EOS 2 um, Cadex camera there. And we just have a little whip out the back. And the battery I'm using is a Tattoo HV 450 milliamp hour 95C battery here. Just get my radio turned on. So this guy uses an XT30, not a JST, so that's very nice to get that extra power. Um, it is a little bit heavy, it's about 90 grams, but that is with the crossfire, so we'll see how it goes here. So right off the bat, a lot quieter than I expected. Wow, this thing is really quiet. I apologize, you guys are probably going to have a hard time seeing this with the clear props and just how tiny it is. Let's try to do some speed passes coming from this direction. Oh yeah, she picks up. Wow, this thing probably goes almost 60 miles an hour. Oh yeah. Sounds like a little vibration in the top end. But overall, in the bottom end here, the tune seems very nice. Haven't noticed any prop wash yet. Whoa! Man, this thing really surprising. Like, it, it's, it's surprising just how quiet it is. You don't expect it to have the power, and then you raise the throttle, and it just moves. little low funnel there. Now since this guy is a little bit heavier, um, and 2540 props are kind of big for an 1103 motor. Actually, hold on, there's a bug on my arm. I'm not expecting the uh, flight times to be too great. You know, it's just pushing a lot of load for that tiny little motor. I did HV this battery to 4.35 volts, so probably gonna get around two minutes of flying like this. I mean, it is still a micro, so flying it in an open area, you know, you still are gonna be in the high end of the throttle ranges using a lot of power. Still holding nice and strong though. Man, these bugs are brutal over my legs. Oh yeah, still got some power. Doing a quite a poor job of keeping it close for you guys. I know it's gonna it's gonna be hard to see on the camera. Okay, and oh yeah, that battery. Wow, that thing sagged out so quick from a decent punch to can't even spin the motors anymore. Wow. I mean, I guess the uh, little R-line held, held all the way through. I don't feel any puff. It's pretty warm, but I mean, for, for how hard it dropped there, you know, not too bad. The motors themselves actually are not hot at all. They're pretty warm, but it is like 90 degrees out right now. It's really hot, really humid, really uncomfortable. So not bad there. Overall, definitely, see, I can't, uh, I feel a little heat, but that's just mostly from the VTX. Everything else, really well holding up really well so far. In that little landing there, I did bend this prop, but I mean, that's kind of what you expect from these little 2.5 inch props. So I will be doing a full review later. Once I get some FPV flights with this thing, maybe I'll do like a half mile flight since I have the crossfire on here, just to see what we can get out of it, just for fun. Um, but there will be more coming on this guy soon, but overall, first impressions of the iFlight Turbo V, very nice. Motors may be a little bit small for a 2540 prop. They might do better on a 65 millimeter dual blade, like the toothpick style. But overall, definitely a very smooth setup and very nice flying overall. So there'll be a link in the description below if you're interested. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.
Bye.